perfect for stopping by Pete's Garage. Now I've got a lot of welding to do and it was time to replace my old welding helmet so I have this new Eastwood welding helmet we're going to take a look at. Now full disclosure, Eastwood does not pay me to use their products or review their products. I do because I think they're very good and I like to share them with everyone so they can get an honest opinion. I use their engine paints, their specialty tools, their powder coating equipment, powders, all great stuff. And I recently got this uh, new large view uh, automatic dimming or auto darkening welding helmet. We're going to give it a try and see how it works. Let's compare it to my old one. Alright, let's take a look at the box. Let's see what it looks like here. We got the helmet and uh, some instructions. Oh, that's nice. Some extra uh, clear front plates. Wow. All right. I already love it. The reason I already love it are the controls are on the outside of the helmet. Let me grab my, uh, where's my other helmet? I've been using this helmet forever. And all for, in my old helmet, all the controls are on the inside. So in order to make adjustments, you got to lift it up and reach inside here to make adjustments. This is cool because the adjustments are on the outside. Let's see what we got here. The delay. Sensitivity, the uh, darkness, which is really cool. Um, shade and angle. We're going to have to see what that one does. Uh, on the inside here, lock for the battery. A couple batteries. The shield. Nice, um, nice head strap there. I like that. Oh, that's good. It locks. So the head adjust locks, which is really nice. Compared to my old helmet here, the uh, the old one doesn't lock, but kind of crappy. You can see I had to take duct tape it together. It's this plastic that over time gets really brittle. And watch, I can probably break it. Yeah, see how easy that breaks. So the old plastic just doesn't hold, didn't hold up. So I already like that. It's nice headband, soft headband in there. Adjustments on the outside are nice and smooth. Not only that, it looks really cool. Let me take this apart, we'll take that off and see what it looks like. Controls look pretty simple. Delay is the delay as it goes from when you're welding back to clear. Sensitivity is how fast it goes from clear to the dark. And this is the uh, sen uh, the uh, shade, dark range. So there's a low range and a high range depending on how dark you want this to get. And it has a neat little chart if you're not used to welding a lot. In the instruction manual there's a neat little chart that shows you a shade guide depending on the welding process and your current and what shade you should be using which is really helpful because if you don't weld a lot how do you know you're not exposing your eyes to harmful uh, UV radiation that's, I like that chart that's nice okay I absolutely love it um, huge viewing area you can see this whole viewing area as I'm looking at the camera this whole area you can view as you're welding. Very comfortable, uh, very easy to pull down. The controls work real nice. And it, I, I love it. Great helmet. Awesome, awesome helmet. Totally worth the money. The only difference is the batteries are the small CR2032 type, flat type round batteries. My other helmet had the two AAAs. So if you ran out of batteries, you could just throw in a couple AAAs. This one you got to have a couple of spare batteries, but there is a low battery indicator inside the helmet, which makes it great. So if it's running low, you got a chance to go get batteries before it uh, before it runs out of batteries. Plus, it has the solar charger on it, so it stays uh, charged up, 
and uh, that helps out a lot. But nice helmet, I love it. A great welding helmet. One last feature that's really nice. The headband has got this swivel on it, which may not seem significant, but when you put it on and you adjust it to your shape of your head and you clamp it down, it makes it more comfortable, number one. And number two, the helmet stays in place. I really like that. If you're looking to get one, part number 21483 from Eastwood, awesome product. I really like it. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.